Good morning, folks. Well, look at that. We're into July now. And with July, it usually means that crops start to change colors. And wouldn't you know it? Look, we have a little bit of oats, I believe that is, that is ready for harvesting. As far as contracts go, there are no contracts available, which is fine. We do have a lot going our way, but uh, what we need to do first, we need to find out what kind of combine power we have. 135 horse. Okay, so we have never had a real header on our combine, and I think today's the day we go and buy one. 135 horsepower. So what I'm planning on doing, I want to see if I can get one of these uh, Airflex ones. Oh my goodness, these are expensive. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, we probably won't get an Airflex. Those are unbelievably expensive. Um, let's see what this combines with. This combines with a 2100. Yeah, we uh, might be shooting ourselves in the foot a bit here, won't we? Okay. <laughs> Getting a little nervous, as you can tell. 25 footers are obviously way, way, way too big. I don't know if my, what is this, uh, 7.6 meter, that's our smallest one. And this one is 4.4 meters. This might have to do it. I don't see what design changes. But yeah, I think this is the header we're going to have to put on. And I really, really do hope that our combine can run this. Just because I'm not quite sure, I think today we're just going to lease it. Because I don't really want to spend, you know, $28,000 on a header that may or may not work. Okay. Oh, and then what we need to do, we need to grab this combine. Yeah, that one right there. We'll reset it back to the store. Perfect. So I'm gonna see you guys at the store. We're gonna try this header out. Okay, we're at the store and the header does not look that huge versus the combine. So I am uh, very, very hopeful that this is going to work. Seems to lift up, all right. Let me see. We uh, lower, turn on, seems to run all right. I think we may have ourselves a winner. Not a very big header, but you know what? We don't need a big header for what we're doing. Alrighty, we're gonna go bring this over to the field and we gotta try this thing out. This is exciting. Well, this is fascinating. My uh, map, which if you look here, if I go to uh, my map, it says that my uh, oats are ready for harvesting. And yet, when I look at them, they're still green. <laughs> that is a wee bit concerning. I don't know if I can harvest them that green. It's gonna clog up my combine and I don't even know if my combine would do it. Sunflowers are doing great by the way. And same with my corn, look at them, they've really shot up. They're gonna be ready in just a couple months, but. Oh, hey, look, potatoes. They're doing beautifully. Neighbors potatoes are doing just great. But we gotta try this oats. We gotta see if, uh, if indeed it's just green for whatever reason. Like maybe the graphics failed to render in. I don't know if that's what it is. But we gotta try this. So yeah, pardon me while I hire a worker. Huh. Seems to be working. Just one second though. Enable stress loss. There we go. Am 
much better. Much, much better. We want that straw. We really do. Okay. So that's kind of wild. It's like the game didn't render in the colors. Very strange. You know, with the uh, colors not rendering properly on my oats, I thought I would check with this farmer here. He's got canola and the map also shows that it's ready and this canola is definitely yellow. So this canola is definitely ready to go and uh, I am hoping that uh, I can do this contract if they will indeed release it. Just, as of right now it's not showing that it's available but I'm hopeful that it will be very soon. As you can see I'm right here at field 15 and I would love to scoop this one up. I think that'd be fantastic. A nice little contract to do with my combine. It'd be well worth it, I think. And uh, the canola would sell for a good price. While the combine's uh, working on those oats there, I think I'm going to gather up that straw. I think that's probably a wise idea. We can put it in the shed. Now we, we can use it for bedding a little later on. As I'm sure... You know, we'll have some sheep and pigs and cows eventually. And so having a bit of straw will be just perfect for uh, some bedding. And if not that, we can always use it for silage as well. It is usable for that. I'm just going to try to scoop up all this stuff. And, and then once the combine is done, we'll probably end up unloading him. Uh, I think he should be able to do this entire field without having to unload. Like, he does not look very full there at all. And we weren't expecting that. Like, this is only a small, small field. So I was not expecting him to, you know, break any big records or anything. I was more or less just concerned with getting a little bit of oats. Because oats sell for a good price. And uh, they're good for feeding certain animals like horses. So, you know, maybe put some oats in our uh, bins back at the other yard, and I think that would be pretty good. It sure did not take long for our combine to finish up, now did it? Seemed like uh, that was very, very short, but yeah, it is just a little plot of uh, oats here. It's not that much. But that's alright. That is perfectly fine. We just wanted to scoop this up while we had a chance, right? Gotta make the episodes interesting. Uh, this is just one way to do it. I'm gonna continue to clean up all this straw here. And then as soon as I'm done cleaning up the straw, then we can see if that canola is ready or not. Fingers crossed it is. We're just coming in with the second load of straw. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to pile it in the shed with that hay wagon in the way. So I think I'm just going to leave it in this little wagon for the time being. And uh, yeah, we'll probably end up dumping this at some point soon once I move that hay wagon out of the way. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. Oh, it looks like I'm almost close enough to the wall there. Kind of bumped it a little bit. There you go. And unhooked. Alright, well, we also have to uh, dump out the product out of the combine. So let's see if I can hook up to the gravity wagon with this tractor. This one is a little fussy with its hitch system, but somehow I almost thought I remembered we could pull the uh, gravity wagon with this one. I could be wrong though. Here, let's give that a go. See if that is indeed the case. Yes, it is. Perfect. Well, here's the hope and we can get a decent harvest out of these oats here. All right. Let's go over to our combine here. It's going to be kind of noisy, folks, so watch your ears. There she is. All right. Dump it in the gravity wagon. <laughs> Doesn't look like much in there yet, but it also unloads a little slowly. I think that gravity wagon will be at least halfway full. 
by the time all said and done. Yeah, it seems to be unloading all right. This uh, header is definitely a good fit. I bet you I could probably get one size bigger, but you know what? For the plots of land that we're doing right now, it is perfectly fine. I got no complaints on my end. And it is funny that my combine can back faster than my tractors can. It is absolutely hilarious. I'm going to go park the combine at the back by the shed again. Unless we should maybe check our contracts. Nope, not currently available. Uh, we'll, we'll check back in an hour or two just to see if all of a sudden it becomes available. But for now, for this very moment, it's going back in the shed. As soon as that canola contract becomes available, I am scooping that up. I think what I'll end up doing, I'll just take this uh, oats and I think I will go bring it to the store. I know that I can bring it to uh, BF Grains and I can dump it out there. But uh, looks like a new wagon is uh, an order of business. Because this thing certainly has a... Uh, a very wild target area for dumping. Something very strange about it. Here we are. We're at BF Grains now. And we shall certainly try and see if we can dump here. Which of course, yeah, no problem whatsoever. It doesn't seem like it has any issues, but yet it seems for some reason we just can't get it to work when we uh, try to match it up with an auger. So I'm not sure what the deal there is, but I already have a plan B in place. So don't worry about that. Anyway, we are making a good bit of coin. That's for sure. What's our final tally on the harvest? Ah, almost six grand for just a couple of rows. That's not bad. I'm sure we'll do better once we do the canola harvest, but yeah, this is not bad at all. I will gladly take those six grand. Wouldn't you know it, all it took was to go past 10 o'clock, and all of a sudden our uh, good friend Michael said his canola needed to be harvested. So with that in mind, I think we'll go and get our combine out there, and we shall... Uh, start combining that field what do you guys say is that a good idea i certainly think so and since this was a rental header i think i'm going to uh bring the header back and i'm gonna buy it seeing as we know that this is a good header to buy this one works really well the combine definitely has the power for it so i'm thinking that we shall indeed buy this after our very disappointing results from this uh, gravity wagon, which I had so much hope for, I think it's only right for us to sell it at this point because we can't really load up anything on it. And this one's good for 11.3 meters. So what I'm going to do, I am actually going to sell that. But don't worry, I have this plan in mind. And yes, I know it's going to cost me a fair bit of money, but I do have a plan in place. So I was thinking about getting this one here, but because uh, it's the same model, I have a feeling I'm going to get the exact same results. I'm going to get a lot of uh, stubbornness from them. So I'm not going to go with this gravity wagon, even though I would love to have it. Instead of that, what I am aiming for is... Uh, getting a uh, box of this for a truck, a nice old truck. And I, I do need to do an experiment to see where this thing dumps out of because I don't want it to dump out of the floor, which it looks like it does, which would really suck for me. So yeah, I might get this box or I might get this one. See, this is just a normal tipper, which would work so much nicer. And I am thinking that this is going to be the... Uh, one we'll use. And the thing is I can put an extension on this, make this, you know, worth a lot more. 
Uh, it can hold about as much, well, almost as much as that uh, giant uh, gravity wagon. So I think that'll actually help us in the end. But that's just my thinking right now because other than that, there's, you know, what kind of wagons can I pull with my tractors that I currently have? You know, there's not that many as, you know, this one here, I could probably pull this one, although it doesn't really have much more capacity than that, that dump box. And then this one would be next with, uh, you know, multiple options there. I don't know that this is the answer either. Is, should it be? Possibly, but is it? I don't know. Doesn't feel like it to me. Uh, so I'm leaning toward getting a truck. It's about time anyway. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe throw this together. And yeah, let's, uh, let's see what it looks like. But I do have a plan. I, I saw this really ugly brown and I kind of want it. I kind of want this ugly, ugly brown here. And you'll see in a minute. I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. Here you go. This is the uh, fun idea I had. And yes, this truck does sound pretty fun. And yes, I know it cost me a bunch of money. But uh, I think this will be well worth it. Like, look at this goofy looking thing. Uh, it is absolutely amazing. I love it. I wish I had a hitch on it, but I really do love it. Like, look at this. You can get a box of parts and a toolbox on the floor there. It is the goofiest looking thing I've ever seen. Oh, and we can see some shifting. That's cool. No kidding. And if you guys see a tractor with a auger wagon, well, that's because I just bought an auger wagon and we're going to go have us a look at that. We're going to go chase our uh, tractor down. Now you may be wondering why I wanted an auger wagon right away. Well, that's because an auger wagon only makes sense to chase across the field and I found a nice small one that worked really well with this truck. So, and it works well with that tractor as well. Like, it looks perfect sized. So I'm thinking this is going to do really, really well. And I'm kind of pleased with my purchase to be honest. What I really wish I could have done for the sake of realism is, you know, get one of the old uh, Chevy Kodiaks or, uh, well, the old 5500s, right? Get one of those. Or even the uh, International, they had a, a cab over truck that was, you know, sort of the size, just a single axle and not too overwhelmingly huge. But it was a really cool truck and I really wish I could have got one of those. But this was the, you know, this was the best of what I had available to me, and so I'll take it. I am absolutely happy that I got a truck here, because as you can see, it, it does move fairly quickly. And now I gotta take my combine and put it on the field. For some reason it just decided to park here. That's alright. And if I had been smart, I would have uh, also used the other farmer, like the farmer's uh, combine as well. But now I didn't, and so it is what it is. This will just take a while to combine, that's all. But there you go. Oops. We can watch from the truck. That is looking mighty fine. If I do say so myself, looking really good. I like that. I'll probably end up putting my truck a little closer to the field here right away. Uh, I believe my grain cart should be coming down that roadway at any moment. A worker was already sent down there, but we'll see how soon he comes. And I'm just going to park this guy right beside the tracks and hopefully the train doesn't hit me. Well, we got ourselves a uh, ways into the canola field already. And gotta say, this grain cart's been working out really well. Uh, uh, 
for the most part it's working really good with our truck. Um, combine seems to work really well with it. So yeah, I'm actually quite thrilled with the grain cart. I think it's a good investment for us. And I know we're going to have to upgrade it at some point, but as of right now, seems to be doing a job just right. And you know, it's light enough that my tractor can drive around really quickly with it. So that's, that's always good. And you'll see here uh, how well it adapts to the truck. It's just the perfect size. Like, oh, I guess, yeah, there you go. You see that? Spout is nice and tall. Just what we need. And I can get about uh, one and three quarter of these grain carts in here until the truck is full. And yes, the truck has also been working fantastic. No complaints on my end there. I guess to uh, just show you guys how well this truck works, I figure I'll uh, unload this next combine hopper into the truck itself. And then that way you guys get a little bit of a preview of this truck. By the way, from inside, manual transmission, really nice. Looks like you got some parts on the floor as well as the toolbox. Very, very plain truck, but it does the job and it looks fantastic. Looks like a nice old 1970s or 1980s truck. Just what we want. And it's not the fastest truck out there, but it's definitely faster than our tractors, that's for sure. Um, the box, being as tall as it is, it's a little tippy. Um, haven't found it to be a problem yet. I haven't rolled over, but I am also exercising a bit of caution. Um, as far as the truck itself goes, I do wish it had a hitch in the back, which it doesn't. It would uh, make this thing a lot more useful, but it seems like most of our big trucks don't have that option available to us. But as you can see, you know, driving about 60 kilometers an hour, definitely a lot faster shipping of grain than if we were to do this just with a tractor and a wagon. For dumping, it's got that uh, half tailgate there, and it does seem to dump pretty quick. You can see it's got the little cylinder in the back to dump the box. I thought it would have a scissor lift, but apparently it doesn't. Now this is all right. It does not take too terribly long to dump. Uh, I chose the brown color because I wanted something that wasn't too flashy and uh, you know wouldn't look dirty right away so that's why the brown. We have just about got this all wrapped up now. Should only be a couple more rounds until the canola is all done. And uh, I'm guessing that this is probably going to be the last truckload that we'll need to put in there before the customer is going to be happy and then I guess the rest we will haul away for our own personal sales and I have an idea how I want to go about that. Well here's the moment of truth. Let's see if this is the uh, final truckload that they'll be asking for or not because anything beyond that is then going to be pure profit. You know what we do not mind having a little bit of profit here and there. Just watching where the uh, price is. Let's see if all of a sudden that starts shooting up like crazy. Then we know. Oh, look at that. 92%. It's been transported. Alright. So that means one more round. Should just be a little bit left. Well, well. Would you look at this. We're on the last strip here finally. That is amazing news. Gonna be just a couple more minutes and we should be all set. This is absolutely fantastic. And what does it look like? If uh, we check our uh, contracts here, it looks like 99% completed. And uh, I'm going to imagine I won't even have to use this. I could probably just grab the dump truck and put everything in there. 
So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to grab the dump truck and then we'll empty the combine into the dump truck and I think we can call that pretty good. So hopefully all of that will fit in the dump truck. Looks like that combine did get quite full even though it's not showing in the uh, hopper so it must be a glitch there. And if it doesn't all fit in there then we'll put the rest into the grain cart. I have a feeling it will not all fit in the dump truck. Somehow I have my suspicions on that. That dump truck looks pretty full already. <laughs> oh, it seems like there's a little bit more. That's about it right there. Well, oh, not to worry. We have the uh, tractor right nearby. We'll just tip the rest of this in here. And uh, we'll send the combine off to go home. And then I will take the uh, dump truck and uh, the tractor and I'll send them off as well. Okay, the goal now is to just tip enough so that uh, we can complete the contract. Oh, a little more. A little more. <laughs> this is always a bit of a fun game. Oh, that should be it. So you can see I still got 9,000 liters left. And I guess I could always sell this too and make a little money. But there is a method to the madness here. I'm about to show you guys what I'm going to do. So I know uh, selling at gate 1 or 2 I could be making a bit of money. But I have a different idea. What I want to do is bring it to the elevator. The old uh, rail elevator right here. And the thing is I can rent this for free. Like this is free storage space for us. So why would I not? I'm going to dump all of my canola in here. It's not selling. You can see my uh, my numbers are not going up as far as wages go and all that. Uh, my inventory, my bank account is not going up substantially. But yeah, I just emptied out my truck, right? So I emptied it out into the elevator. And now what happens is that uh, as I empty out, I'm filling up this giant elevator here and you can see there's a spout that aims right over the railroad track so I can rent this train for a thousand bucks and then I can put all my product in there and this way I can load the train up and make it worth my while at you know once at the end of the year instead of doing it you know multiple times throughout which would not make any sense to uh, rent the train many times a year over so I instead I'm just going to do it one time and uh, I think it'll prove to be a valuable a valuable decision in the end when I can actually ship a train load worth away that's at least the plan for now and should I also need a bit of money well I can also pick up from the elevator to sell at gates one and two and I do that simply by going to uh, the spout to the left hand side of the elevator uh, right beside the ramp I don't know how well you can see it from here but there is a spout where I can also load out of and I can load my own products out of there so that is the plan that is what we're going to be doing this time around I am actually going to take the canola in here and I'm dumping it into the elevator as well because I feel like that would be uh, the most appropriate thing to do. A, another really cool trick that you can do. Um, so with this grain cart in particular, if I swing this boom out, I won't be able to dump in that grain elevator. It's a very, very narrow doorway on the other side there. So what I can do instead, they have this grate right here. And this goes straight to the elevator as well. I just dump in here and now 
it has gone into the elevator. We got a bit of a uh, camera crash there. And it's all being stored in there. And whenever the train does come, you know, whenever I do end up renting the train, then I should be able to access that canola the same. I was just mentioning just a moment ago how you can reload your uh, products that you put in the elevator and that is done right underneath here. So what you do, you get under this spout much like so and uh, I don't think I can do it on this one because this is a, a different type of wagon. But if you get a, any other type of wagon you can go underneath there and then you can get yourself loaded. Kind of a cool way to do it. But with this uh, grain cart, unfortunately, that is not the option. Anyway, I think that should pretty well be it for this episode, don't you guys think? I think we've done ourselves well. We combined two fields, and uh, we had some fun with a new grain cart. Our combine's been proven to be very useful again. I would say it's been uh, quite a successful run this time around. But before we leave, we should grab the paycheck. There we go. Perfect. And with that in mind, I'd like to bid you guys all a great rest of your day. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.